obviously you thought of the name, um, you thought of the acronym. And I suppose this is the point where like all the hard work starts. Mm. So like find the manufacturers and all of this stuff. Like what was the beginning of that process like? So the first thing I did before I even thought about manufacturers is I designed the collection. Okay, so where, where did you learn to do all of that? <laughs> Me, like, I literally learned off YouTube. So this is, is in lockdown. Oh my days, if you could see the first designs I did, <laughs> how bad are they? And at one point, at one point I was like, I'm actually not going to be able to do this. But I was like, I can't be, I can't own my own brand without and be a, without yeah. being able like don't get me wrong so first of all i'm sketching them in my ske- in my sketch mm. pad and even that like i'm not a drawer like mm. my sketches are dead but i knew what they meant mm-hmm. so then i was like right okay so i literally was just watching courses on youtube and this is the amazing thing about youtube do you know what mm-hmm. i mean like you don't need to go to fashion uni or anything to mm-hmm. learn these things you can actually learn on youtube when you say courses was it like just free courses that people had uploaded yeah you- just literally mm. if you just search like how to make fashion designs in illustrator so mm. i used adobe illustrator mm-hmm. and yeah so the first ones i did oh my terrible mm. like so bad <laughs> and i remember thinking like there's no way i'm gonna be able to do this like i can't even do the designs mm-hmm. um but yeah, I just stuck at it basically mm. and just kept drawing them out, drawing them you out. Just kept and, getting better. And got better. better. Yeah, yeah, I literally got better. Um, I'm still not the best. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many technical things as well, like like a certain line can mean a certain type of thread and like all mm. this kind of stuff, which mm. again, I'm still learning. It's going to come over time. Exactly. And that's fine. And they are getting better. My sketches <laughs> are getting better. But yeah, it's... Um, that was the first thing I did. So it was mm. like, okay, I need to actually learn how to do this. So once i had all the designs together so Mm -hmm. i literally had the designs together say maybe like april may 2020 Mm -hmm. so i've got all my designs now this is that when i'm like okay now i need to find a manufacturer like it's just such a minefield Mm -hmm. like I think this, I was, I was literally, I remember whilst I was looking for manufacturers and I was like, this is the reason like loads of people don't have brands, you know, Mm. because it's so difficult Mm. and it's so hard to, to know. Do you know what I mean? How do you know if they're a good manufacturer? Mm. Like, how do you know that they're like ethical, Mm. treating their workers right? How do you know the fabric quality is any good? Like, how, how do you know, like you speak to these manufacturers and of course they just tell you what you want to hear. 100%. And then you've also got the struggle of um, MOQs. So that's minimum order quantity. Mm. So a lot of uh, manufacturers will only do like 200, 500 minimum order quantity. So when like, for example, like my first brand, my first collection, like you're only doing say like 50 pieces. Mm -hmm. So you need to find manufacturers that will do such low quantities. Mm. Um, So yeah, it was really, really difficult. I was just looking online, like I was on LinkedIn as well Mm. and like having manufacturers message me on LinkedIn. Um, But actually the first manufacturer I used was actually recommended to me by my friends. Mm. They've got their own brand as well. Shout out ASL. Mm. I'll follow Um, them. What what are they called? ASL. ASL. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, so they recommended their manufacturer Mm. to me. So I did it through those in the end. Um, but yeah, like even to this day, I'm still working on that. I'm still mm. working on finding better manufacturers, finding, um, good quality, you know what I mean? All this mm. kind of stuff. Um, and again, trying to make sure it's ethical and trying mm, to make sure. The main things, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, and it's literally like even brands that say they're ethical, I don't know how you can fully know unless mm. you go. That's why I'm like now basically need to plan a trip or like go to some of these manufacturers to actually go and yourself. see because you, yeah, you, you, you literally do, you you wouldn't know mm. and even sometimes when you go to these places they they, they can hide they can, yes. certain stuff <laughs> yeah, so naturally. so that's i would say like the biggest hurdle and the hardest mm. part of finding a brand but you just uh, making a brand sorry but you just need to um just be prepared to kind of spend money and maybe mm. lose money along the mm. way as well which and is difficult and Kate, you know how obviously you spoke about finding the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. One thing I think is important to also discuss is what you actually need to give to the manufacturer. Because I think mm. that's, obviously me, I don't design clothes yeah, myself. In it, but from speaking to people, I've seen that there's so many things like tech packs. and yeah. So how did you kind of learn how, how that process goes? So even with the tech pack, so basically I had my first design. So obviously I'd done these designs, mm-hmm. very B-Tech version <laughs> of these designs. And that's when then I worked with... 
So the manufacturer I worked with with my first collection, they are they're based in Pakistan, but the the factory is, but they've got a team in the UK. Mm-hmm. So I worked with the UK team. So you only they that's how you kind of you liaise with the UK team and mm-hmm. they work with the factory. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a middleman way to do it because usually you would just work directly with the factory. Mm-hmm. But for a first collection, like this was a lot more safe for, for me mm-hmm. to do because you're trusting the UK team that, you know, this is an ethical factory and all this kind of stuff is a good factory. Mm-hmm. So I went to, I had a like consultation with the woman who owns um, this factory and she basically took my designs and she put them into a tech pack for oh, me wow. but I paid for this service though mm. um, so once she'd done it the first time that's when then I knew how to do it mm. so now going forward like I know what needs to be in a tech pack but mm-hmm. basically you need um, obviously the the drawing of the design mm. Um, I included like all the measurements. So even that in itself is like yeah. a minefield, like yeah. measuring every, do you know what I mean? The Lego body types yeah, so different. Exactly. Mm. So sending all like your measurements, then you need to put details of, do you know what I mean? Like what type of fabric it is, mm. if you want certain fabric weights, be specific on that, colors, mm-hmm. just all this kind of stuff. Basically you need to include all of this in your tech pack, mm. which again, as someone who like, even me, yeah. like this is brand new to me, like, but again, YouTube's your best friend. Like yeah. you can just search on YouTube. And I suppose your course at uni didn't teach you any of this no, stuff, No, none of this. And that's why like sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I had done fashion mm. design because I think like, you would learn all of this in a, mm. in a design uni, how to do a tech pack. But with a design, but a design course wouldn't necessarily teach you how to do the Build marketing the brand. and brand. Exactly. Yeah. So you can never, I never, I never regret. So. Mm. And do you know what, um, Katie? Yeah, I, this question is more like just an opinion based mm. question, yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of Where's My Podcast. If you ever want to take in future episodes on the go, you can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Whilst you're there, please leave us a five-star review. It would really help. And also, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, WMTV underscore LDN, to keep up to date with the latest goings-on in UK fashion. Keep it locked.